Hello and welcome to the Insomnia Designer demo booth. My name is Ahmad Koshruk. I'm a solution engineer with Kong. I'll be walking you today through an overview of the Insomnia Designer, which is part of the Kong platform. Organizations use the Kong platform to build distributed, decentralized applications using APIs and microservices, and to secure those services and produce them in a well-governed manner and ultimately to make them consumable in an easy manner to external users and developers alike. Now, internal developers in any organization uh, have to do this quickly and with quality, and getting this right can be a challenge. The tooling may not be always consistent and the integration may not be always up to the ideal level. This is the motivation for Insomnia Designer. It's a collaborative editor and tester intended for developers, architects, and product managers. And it's intended to allow them to work and iterate faster in developing those APIs and microservices and help them craft specifications that ultimately increase the adoption of their work. In this session, we will take a look at three general areas which developers sometimes can struggle with. The first one is authoring the specifications. The designer makes it easy for developers to do so without having to be experts on the open API specification or to build any specialized tooling to visualize their work. Everything is available for them to view and edit exactly as an external consumer will see it. Secondly, the designer can be used by developers to debug their APIs and they do not need to use something like curl or HTTP, although these tools are regularly used. The designer is very convenient in how it can help them debug their APIs. And finally, we will take a look at how the designer helps developers build test suites to automate the testing of their APIs, such that if they're building DevOps pipelines and they want to recertify the quality, they don't have to do this manually. Of course, all of this is integrated within the Kong platform, making it quite convenient and quite streamlined for users. Let's go ahead and take a look at the software. This is the home screen of the designer, and we here see all the specifications that we may be using. We can create a new specification as a blank document or potentially import it from a file, a URL, and definitely to integrate it with a Git repository. In our instance, for the first demonstration we're doing, we'll simply go ahead and import from a URL. Now we can see here a new specification has been created. Let's quickly rename that for consistency. And let's go have a look at it. Here we enter the debug or design portion rather of the designer. And you can see that browse browsing of the specification is simplified via the outline available on the left hand side. So as developers want to browse the specification, it's rather convenient. If for any reason there is an error that may happen, for example, uh, inserting um, a space or a comma or any symbol in the wrong place, there is linting available and developers are able to fix those issues rather than wait for them to surface during perhaps a deployment. This naturally saves time and improves the development life cycle. And on the left-hand side here, we are able to see a preview of what the specification may look like for external consumers. This once again is useful since developers know exactly what the consumers will see and they will know how well their documentation is written and how consumable it is. Another nice integration available within the designer is the ability to take the specification that we have here, perhaps we have some mocking in it, and we want to make it available as a temporary endpoint until the actual API is available. We simply click on generate config available here, and then we can take the specification generated and configure with it a Kong instance, either running on its own or running within a Kubernetes deployment as an ingress controller. And we take this configuration and we turn it on. So that covers the first major area within the designer. Let's take a look at what debugging might look like. For any specification that we have, we have one or more paths. Let me switch to a specification that has slightly more paths in it. Our Kong demonstration specification is here. And you will notice when I switch to the debug view, on the right-hand side, we have requests that we can use to 
verify that our APIs are working as intended. I'll show you a couple of examples here. This is a, a simple one that we use where we verify that key authentication is working. So you can see in this request, I have a key authentication anticipating a 401. And the reason that is true is that I don't have an API key passed in as a header. Now the request underneath it does have it. So you can definitely see how each one of those will behave. This one will fail, whereas this request will succeed. Let's go ahead and verify that. Now you can see we get back the anticipated message, but we're also able to see the headers that came back, cookies if there were any, as well as the timeline. This is quite convenient, especially that we're able to switch back and forth and we're able to save the configurations that we used and alter them. Very, very easy compared to perhaps having command lines that we edit. For posterity, or for consistent chat rather, let's go ahead and try the second test and of course it works as anticipated and there is a payload. Developers rely on the designer to quickly debug their work and certify the quality of the APIs that they are eventually going to expose. Now let's take a look at the final part of the designer, which is being able to write test suites. You can see here I have a few others that I've created, but let's go ahead and recreate those. Test suites come in very handy during the pipeline that releases an API to verify that the APIs are working as expected. And the nice part here is that all the debugging work that we did is immediately available for us to use within a test suite. So if I want to automate the exact test I showed you in the last section, I can do that here. So let me go ahead, go ahead and create a test. I'll call this API key 401. I created the new test. I select the request that I just used, which is API key 401, and then I ensure that the response code is a 401. And if I run this, I should get a pass, and that is exactly what I expected. Now let's do the other test, API key 200, and let's select the appropriate request. And this is correct. This is the response code we were expecting. Let me go ahead and play, and that runs. So I tested both, both use cases independently. Let me run them all together. Everything works. After I'm happy with this test, I can then use our CLI to run this in our pipeline and automate the testing. So these are the three capabilities that we looked at, and they help developers make sure that these specifications are authored consistently quickly, cleanly, they know exactly what they will look like. It helps developers, architects, and product managers debug their APIs and to streamline their testing. All of this together combines to streamline the workflow the developers have and improve the quality of their APIs. I hope you enjoyed this brief demonstration. I hope you also enjoyed the rest of the demonstrations on Kong Summit. I will be doing one more demonstration where we took, take a look at how we can use the developer portal in productizing and exposing the APIs we created with designer. Enjoy.